we will talk about menopause five most important symptoms of menopause and their treatment first let's define what is menopause menopause is not disease we say treatment but it's not disease it's a phase of life for women for every woman which occurs in around their 40s or 50s early 50s and in strict definition menopause means that when there is no menstruation for 12 months 12 consecutive months when there is no menstruation is already menopause before menopause period before menopause and after menopause is called perimenopausal period and what happens at this case in women's body during a menopause and uh, perimenopausal period uh, ovaries gradually stop working they stop producing sex hormones like estrogens and progesterone and uh, they stop producing egg and women loses reproductive capacity that's most important so after menopause woman loses reproductive capacity that's most important part and this dramatical decrease of sex hormones causes symptoms that's why we have symptoms because our body is highly dependent on sex hormones uh, now let's say what are the most important and most common symptoms of menopause first and most important symptom is hot flashes 80% uh, of women experience hot flashes during menopausal period and what it means it's sudden feeling of warmth and it's intense on the face on the neck on the chest and the skin can be reddish and resembling a blush also it's associated with sweating also so it is called hot flashes hot flashes occurs almost always in case of menopausal period it can occur for several years even after stopping uh, men uh, stopping menstruation so even after occurring menopause uh, hot flashes can last for several years it's important why it happens it happens because of hypothalamus because of estrogens and estrogens affects hypothalamus and low level of estrogens causes hypersensation of hypothalamus and it becomes more hypersensitive uh, about um, temperature and when there is trigger it um, usually accidentally and mistakenly tries to cool down body that's why we have hot flashes so it happens because of hypothalamus errors because of hypothalamus mistakes because of low estrogen levels so there is question that how long these symptoms can last they can last from four years usually and most commonly it lasts four years sometimes can last 10 years and sometimes can last for several months it can be very short but it can be very long also and here is also important question that what are the most common age of uh, uh, menopause occurs most common age is 51 year when woman is 51 years old usually she already has menopause but it can start after 40 it's also possible and it, it is called early menopause if it starts after 40 uh, and sometimes menopause occurs in women's 58 uh, when they are 58 years old but after 58 years it's very unlikely to occur menopause because 99 percent point nine percent of a uh, menopause occurs before 58 so after 58 is very low probability what is the second most important symptom it's night sweats uh, night sweats is considered also very common symptom and night sweats can be very intensive and even it can be drenching 
uh, women can drench his wares or bedding so it can be very disturbing and it can decrease quality of life it's important why it happens it happens because of hypothalamus also actually night sweats and hot flesh are same manifest same mechanism and different types of manifestation of uh, misfunction of hypothalamus mechanism is say same because of uh, low estrogen levels causes hyperactivity of hypothalamus cooling system and we have hot flashes and we have also night sweats third symptom third most common symptom is vag uh, vaginal dryness why it happens because of low estrogen level causes uh, thinning of layers and thinning of wall of vagina and it causes less lubrication and that's why women has uh, thinning of vaginal wall and decreased lubrication and eventually vaginal dryness now let's say about fourth most common symptom it's mood swings mood swing is important symptom why it happens because of low estrogens causes fluctuation of serotonin level serotonin uh, level is very sensitive serotonin is called feeling a good hormone or feeling a good neurotransmitter because uh, our mood is highly dependent on serotonin for example when we have depression we have low serotonin activity so uh, serotonin level is important and fluctuation of serotonin causes mood swings it's important symptom also and when we have low estrogen level we have higher cortisol level in our body high cortisol level is uh, stress hormone and stress hormone increases also irritability and low progesterone level also plays a role because progesterone has calming effect on women so when there is low progesterone we have also irritability that's why we have mood swings and fifth most common symptom is irregular periods it's very important actually it's physiological uh, what means it means that before menopause occurs we have irregular periods some periods are heavier some periods are lighter some periods are near each other some periods are apart from each other so periods or menstruation become irregular and eventually <clears throat> it stops it is called irregular period it's fifth most common symptom <clears throat> other symptoms also uh, occurs like weight gain for example and fat distribution and uh, abdominal fat becomes more prominent because of low estrogen level uh, brain fog also sometimes happens and decreased libido because of low estrogen and progesterone level so they are important symptoms also but most important ones are hot flashes night sweats mood swings vagi vaginal dryness and irregular period now let's say about treatment what we can do what is first line treatment what is most effective treatment most effective treatment is considered hormone replacement therapy what means hormone replacement therapy because we have low estrogen level estrogen when you get estrogen is considered hormone replacement so uh, at this case estrogen are used or combination of estrogen plus progesterone why because if you use only estrogen you improve symptoms but it increases risk of endometrial cancer that's why if woman has no uterine estrogen only is effective but if woman has uh, uterine then estrogen plus progesterone combination is used because it does not increase risk of uh, uterine cancer or endometrial cancer but what is the most important adverse effect it slightly increased risk of breast cancer so it's very important part that uh, estrogens plus pro progesterone together 
increase slightly increase breast cancer um, risk but slightly that's why it's still used for treatment because this increased risk is very little uh, now what is other treatment methods and how effective they are but uh, we should say about uh, hormone replacement therapy also estrogen plus progesterone that they they usually used within the five-year window so they used for long term and they effectively reduce symptoms but usually within five years window because after five years they importantly increase breast cancer risk that's why within five year window they are, they are considered relatively safe and relatively effective so benefits is much more than risks that's why we have five year window but the shorter duration the better second most important part of treatment is antidepressants such as seroton selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin or uh, serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors they used effectively in many cases um, especially escitalopram is classical example which is used during menopausal period to reduce anxiety and irritability uh, and paroxetine in low doses uh, improves hot flashes it's important because in this case women intakes lower doses than standard treatment and it improves hot flashes it's important and average duration of intake of antidepressants is around one year the uh, same uh, the lower period and shorter period the better and uh, here is question also that if antidepressant causes dependency they does not cause true dependency but they can cause some uh, symptoms such as nausea vomiting or some discomfort after if you stop them abruptly so taping is important taping means when you gradually decrease dosage of the drug and vag vaginal estrogens are important they are as a creams they have less side effects so they improve uh, they improve lubrication of vag vagina so they are used also during menopause now let's say about supplements what supplements are used effectively and which are most effective black cohosh is considered most effective supplement for menopause because it increases serotonin activity and also it has estrogen like action and intake them for six months is considered safe and considered effective after uh, six months it loses gradually its effectiveness and also increases risk of liver um, toxicity that's why six months window is considered optimal here and flexid also important flexid because it has estrogen like action and it's totally safe person can intake flexid for example 25 grams per day uh, if person is generally healthy uh, flexid is considered safe for long-term use also vitamin d is important for bones because uh, after estrogen level decreases women loses bone my mineralization and vitamin d is important for bone strength and bone mineralization magnesium is important also improves sleep quality improves also bone density and omega-3 also important because it improves brain function it decreases um, inflammation it improves cognitive function and improves also overall well-being in some cases so omega-3 is important also and now let's say about other types of uh, treatment or what can we do it's exercise exercise is very important because exercise affects positively almost every aspect of life of women uh, fruits are important vegetables and nuts because they contain pitoestrogens especially walnut peanut almonds they contain pitoestrogens and they can help to cope symptoms of menopause also so be soybean contains pitoestrogen and flexid contains pitoestrogen that's all i wanted to say 
thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now